The Diamond Synchrotron is the largest science facility to have been built in Britain for over 40 years and it's located here at the Harwell Science and Research Campus in Oxfordshire. And Diamond comprises three electron accelerators where, which we use to accelerate electrons to a very high energy and when electrons are bent at very high energy they give off x-rays and we extract those x-rays and use them in a series of very large x-ray microscopes which we call beam lines. So we produce the electrons by boiling them off a hot cathode and in the first stage of their journey they are accelerated across a gap of 90,000 volts and that gives them the first energy and injects them into then what we call a linear accelerator, a LINAC, where we use radio frequency waves then to accelerate them from 100,000 volts to 100 million volts. At that point they're then travelling something like 99.99% of the speed of light. We then inject them into the booster where we increase the energy from 100 million volts to 100,000 million volts and at this point they're then travelling 99.99999% of the speed of light which is really fast and we inject them into the storage ring which is a 560 meter circumference accelerator and they can go around this ring at over half a million times a second or another way of looking at it is uh, these electrons could circulate the earth seven and a half times every second. Well the electrons themselves are focused down to a very small spot of around 10 microns diameter which is something like a quarter of the diameter of a human hair and the quality of that focal spot for the electrons depends the quality and the brilliance of the x-ray beam that's produced. So we do need to keep those electrons very stably contained within a vacuum vessel and so we put a lot of effort to um, aligning the magnets to sub-millimetre precision and making sure that the flow we've built is also very stable. And indeed the vibration figures that we measure here at Diamond in the middle of the day are 20 nanometers. That's 20,000 millionths of a metre. So I think our, our watchword has always been stability. Stability, stability, stability. Everything that we touch or deal with here at Diamond has to be stable. The temperature of the air we produce, the temperature of the water that we use to cool the magnets, the stability of the power supplies that we use to power the magnets that influence the electron beam and the stability of the floor that we build everything on here at Diamond. We use Diamond and some of these X-ray beamline microscopes uh, to analyse crystals of, of proteins taken from our bodies so that biologists can work out how those proteins function in our cells. Uh, we can also use uh, our x-rays to investigate materials that would be far better at storing hydrogen uh, for use in fuel cells. And we can also use x-rays to explore real live engineering components such as pieces of aircraft wing or pieces of a um, turbine blade from an aero engine. Well, that particular beamline, which we've called JEEP, the Joint Engineering and Environmental Processing Beamline, uses X-rays of uh, a much higher energy than we use elsewhere in Diamond. And with that higher intensity comes a, an awful lot of thermal power. So they're actually managing and absorbing the heat in that beamline was a great challenge. Uh, also, creating a space large enough to take in those real live samples uh, meant that we had to extend the beam line to outside the normal diamond building and build a purpose uh, x-ray end station which is still shielded for very high energy x-rays uh, but also gives us a volume of around about three meters cube and a load carrying capacity of, of more than five tons so we can bring in some of these real live engineering pieces of equipment and experiment on them in that end station.